okay guys today I'm going to show you how to install open media vault that means how to convert your Raspberry Pi model 3 B plus or a model 3 or a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, to an S so you can create your own network attached storage using your Raspberry Pi so you need a Raspberry Pi 2 or a Raspberry Pi 3 model B or a Raspberry Pi model uh, Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus so I have a model B plus so I'm going to show you how to install open media vault on a Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus so first you need to download open media vault so I'm I have searched it on Google so you need to go to this link <coughs> and afterwards if you can see you can see the download sign so we should go there and we should go to the installation images can be found here so you should select this link here so if you select that link you will go to this place and you will be able to see Raspberry Pi images so I'm going to select that and here you can see the latest Raspberry Pi image for Raspberry Pi 2, 3 and 3 plus so you can download this by selecting on this and uh, I have already downloaded it and uh, you can see that so afterwards what uh, after downloading this you need to go to the place it is downloaded to and open the file and you will be able to see an disk image so first thing that you need to do is you need to extract that to your desktop or any other place that you like so I have already uh, extract my file to the desktop so if you go to desktop of my PC we will be able to see the image file so the image is already there okay. you can see the image is already there so you can't see it it's just like blind but now you can see open media world for Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus so afterwards what you need to do is you need to install win32 disk image so win32 disk image is the one a tool that you need to extract the image file onto the sd card that you have so i have already got an sd card so i have i got a 16 gb one but i think you will be able to run this on an 8 gb one so 16 gb is better <coughs> so already i got one so 16 gb one is already connected to my PC so you can see that here and uh, afterwards you need to go to Win32 Disk Images so open that and you will be able to see this so if you go to your my computer and you will be able to see your SD card's drive letter so drive letter is E and here you can select the devices that you have so already I got only one device which is my removable device as the SD card so it's E so I can see that on here so afterwards what we need to do is we need to add the image file path to this place so to add that we need to select browse and uh, we need to go to desktop and select my image file so you need to select the place that you have extract your file Two. so currently my one is on desktop so I have selected my from the desktop so press open so automatically the path is at attached to this place afterwards what you need to do is you need to write this to this SD card so I am going to select write so it will ask us uh, to uh, it says that writing to a physical device can corrupt the device so are you sure you want to continue so we need to so they say as it is as if that we are going to destroy something but we won't so we'll click yes and it has started writing onto the SD card <coughs>
so i will uh, talk to you talk to you guys after this completes so so it's already at the end so let's wait and see uh, what will happen so right is successful it gives us a message so we need to press ok and close this application so if you try to open this we'll be able to open and uh, you can see other stuff in here uh, but you don't need to do anything inside this what you should do is you should just remove this eject this from your PC after ejecting Take your SD card out of your PC, then uh, put it uh, into your Raspberry Pi 3's SD card slot. So I'm going to do that and I'll talk to you guys. So after like uh, 5 to 10 minutes of time, after I plug the SD card, it may take some time depending on your one. Uh, you can get this interface and uh, this you will be able to get this interface uh, after the operating system is finished installed so to get this interface you need an IP address like this so to get the IP address you can either connect uh, your Raspberry Pi via the HDMI cable to your display or else you can just uh, go to your router so my one is this so log into your router you so depending on your router the may, settings may vary so what you need to do is you need to go to your DHCP client option so that is a place where you can see all the IP addresses that are currently assigned to your devices in the in your network so in my one I need to go to network I need to go to LAN settings so currently my DHCP net my DHCP range is from 192.168.0.200.1 to 210 so in here i am able to see my raspberry pi using this ip address so definitely your raspberry pi will be named as raspberry pi uh, in the dhcb client so you will you need you don't need to worry about that so the host name will be like this and definitely the corresponding ip address of that device will be may, may vary on your one so my one is currently this so afterwards if you get the ip address like that uh, you need to go to another tab and type the IP address on your browser so without anything just type the IP address this then press enter so then you will get this interface so select the language if you like and then afterwards for the username you need to enter admin then for the password open media vault so that's the default username and password so login so if you are able to see you can see or uh, the interface of the open media world network attached storage operating system so that's how you can install then and uh, network attached operating attached storage and convert your Raspberry Pi into network attached storage or NAS uh, and attach different kind of storage so I think you can go up to like 4 tera or 8 tera depending on the hard drive that you have so and you can uh, run it as a network attached storage device so thank you for watching my video in how to install in this open media vault and converting your Raspberry Pi into a NAS and uh, I will be showing a future video in uh, in a way where you can create storage, attach storage, and creating users and adding uh, the network uh, share a network share onto your device. So thank you, and uh, have a nice day.